Good morning, afternoon or evening chaps, depending on where you are in the world. My name is Typical and welcome to this video. This video is the YouTube Tag Challenge. I've been challenged by the legendary Baron Games and the legendary Dash Dragon. Basically, if you don't already know, the YouTube Tag Challenge is where you get challenged by other YouTubers and you have to answer 10 questions. The 10 questions are already picked out. So without further ado, let's get answering them. Question number one. How long have you been YouTubing? Well, I've been YouTubing now, all in all, for about a year, just over now. And that split up between two channels, which were named the same, Typical English Gamer. The reason I started again is because the original videos were really poor quality and I figured a fresh start would help. Question number two. How many videos have you uploaded? All in all, I've made over 200 videos. However, since starting again, I've only uploaded 44. Question number three. What's your favourite video you have recorded? If I'm really honest, my favourite video that I've recorded is probably tied with Don't Spill Your Coffee, as I called it, Don't Spill Your Tea. I really had fun recording that and even editing made me laugh, so I'm really proud of that video. But I think it's tied with Who's Your Daddy? playing with Dash Dragon. I really enjoyed recording that and there's two versions of it from his point of view and my point of view. So I recommend if you've watched mine, go check his out on his channel. But probably the video I'm most proud of is 10 Things That Pissed Me Off that was inspired by the Lazy Peon. I spent about 48 hours editing that and that was spread over three days and by the end of it, my eyes were burning. I actually think I damaged my vision a little bit, but it's all in the meaning of fun, so let's move on. Question number four. Who's your favourite YouTuber? I probably have to say Jacksepticeye and Markiplier, and I know that's a bit of a cop-out because they do the same thing I do, but Jacksepticeye inspired me to do what I'm doing now, and Markiplier's always been so unique, and I can watch him all the time. So yeah, I'd say them too. Question number five, pick a YouTuber to collaborate with. Well, if I could pick anyone, like if I had a wish or a magic lamp or something like that, I'd probably pick PewDiePie, Markiplier or Jacksepticeye, simply because they're the biggest ones out there at the moment, and my channel would skyrocket if I ever had the opportunity. So yeah, I'd probably pick one of them three, but realistically, I really enjoy collabing with any and all of the tube loaders. I know I mention the two bloaders all the time, but they're an awesome group and we help each other out. They're always there for each other. So it's awesome to play with your friends and yeah, that's who I'd probably pick. Question number six. Where do you see your channel in the future? Well, if I try really hard and you know, grit down, I may possibly be able to hit 61 subscribers in the future. <laughs> I'm on 60 now, so I think it's a pretty good goal. But no, seriously, I don't know. I honestly don't. I'd love to do this as a job, but it's not realistic. You know, there's so many people doing it right now, and a lot of them genuinely are better than me. So I don't see it really going far. I do this to make people happy, and it makes me happy. So I'm just going to carry on, and it goes where it goes. Hopefully I'll, I'll have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and people will be waiting on the next video because that's what they like to do every day. So that's where I want it to go. If it does go there, I highly doubt it. But miracles happen. Question number seven. What's a quote or saying that you follow? Well, that's a really good one for me because I have quite a few. I say silly ones like may the force be with you and etc. One I say in the video all the time, and that's bear with me, and that's grrr. you got to say grrr when I say it, like a bear. It's funny, shut up. Another one is, you can't beat me, I know Taekwondo. I say that quite a lot, I really love that. That comes from my friend Paul, who was my old Taekwondo instructor. And one day he said it when we were teaching a kids class, and the kids thought it was funny. I thought it was friggin' hysterical, I could barely breathe. People was looking at me weird, but I don't care, it amused me. But if I had to pick one, my all-time favourite is probably 
If you don't get messy, you're not having fun. I like to live my life by that, and it's true. It really is true, and it applies to everything. I say it most of the time when I'm in Subway buying a sandwich, and I ask them to absolutely soak it in Southwest sauce, and I tell them, if you don't get messy, you don't have fun, because by the time I've finished eating that bad boy, I'm covered in Southwest sauce. Question number eight. Why did you start YouTubing? Now, this is a question I wanted to actually avoid. I've mentioned it once or twice, I believe. I've never really gone into detail, but the reason I started YouTubing is because about three years ago, I lost my dad. He died of a brain aneurysm. It was very sudden and I basically had a lot of responsibility. I was very sheltered. I didn't have to do anything. My wage from work was mine. I had to pay very little rent, nothing. I had no responsibility and all of a sudden I had everything put onto my shoulders. I care for my mum now. I have, I have full responsibility of two households as well as everything else. And at the time, the only bit of happiness that I had, apart from the obvious things, was going on my phone and searching through YouTube. And I came across Jacksepticeye. At the time, I didn't know what a Let's Player was. I didn't know you could do YouTube as a job. I was very naive and, like I say, I wasn't, I wasn't in that social society so i wasn't aware of youtubing gaming etc i knew what i knew what pewdiepie was but i didn't really look into it but that were about it and i came across jacksepticeye and he made me smile and i watched him again and again and day after day i kept coming back until i watched all his old videos and i watched most of his old videos and i was watching his new ones day by day i started to learn his upload schedule and i was looking forward to his next videos and they cheered me up and one day it sort of hit me, I want to do that. So I did. I researched it, I looked it up, I thought of a little persona, I bought a PC, and here I am doing it. And all being well, my dreams have come true, and at least one person watches my videos and it cheers them up. So yeah, that is the reason I do YouTube, and that is the reason I'm never going to stop. Question number nine. What challenges have you faced YouTubing and how have you overcome them? Well, I think any content creator on YouTube faces the same challenges. Initially, when you're first starting out, um, it's a lot of technical problems. You get a lot of software problems and hardware problems, etc. And it's, it's a lot of figuring out to do. It's a, it's a massive learning curve. So I think we all hit the same walls in a lot of cases. But personally... Showing me face on camera were a really big decision for me. I wasn't going to do it at first, but I like to overcome my fears. My biggest fear is jumping in the ocean, and you can ask anyone. If I'm out on a boat, I'm the first one in that water. It terrifies me, but I firmly believe if you're scared of summer, you should face it head on and overcome it. Unless it's a train, do not face that fucker head on. Watch it from the sidelines, you do just fine. No, seriously, showing me face on camera were a big thing. I have a lazy eye and a crooked tooth. I actually have a couple of cro crooked teeth. I've got a really bad one. I'm sticking my fingers in my mouth while talking to you. But I've got a really bad one and I'm really, really conscious about it. And I actually like, angle my camera and I've, I've, I always make sure my room's the angle where my camera can be facing my left hand side of my face simply because it hides the tooth better. So yeah, I think that's a challenge for me. I don't really give a shit anymore. I still angle the camera the same way, but if anyone's got an issue with my crooked tooth, they can go jump off a bridge. Question number 10. What are your main inspirations for your videos? Anything that makes me smile or has the potential to cheer other people up and make a good video as in a funny video. I don't make videos for educational purposes. I I just play stupid stuff so I can be daft to it and be loud and giggly. Some of that will make me laugh. But sometimes I look at a game and it has the potential to be funny and it has the potential to be good. But sometimes I look at it and I think, I could make a really good thumbnail for that. 
and that's that that can just kick it off for me so yeah i'd say i'd say it can be a mixture of it being fun and what can i do with a thumbnail right chaps that is 10 questions that is the youtube tag challenge done like i say thank you for beer and gibbs and the legendary dash dragon for challenging me to that so now what i gotta do is i gotta pick some youtubers that i need to challenge for this challenge it's the exact same thing they have to answer the same question but from their point of view the two bloaders have gone through and i'm actually at the bottom of the barrel if i can speak properly it'd be good there is a couple left, but I'm not going to take the others from the bottom because there's still a couple who have been challenged that have yet to do their videos. So I'm going to be creative and I'm going to hope it's not going to happen, but I'm going to be silly with this and all being well, maybe one of them shall do it. I'm going to challenge the Lazy Peon, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier and Sonic Beachamp. At least get one tube loader in there, eh? But yeah, it's going to be absolutely impossible for these big guys to see this. Who knows? They might see it and they might actually do it. All being well, I hope they do. And if you do, chaps, thank you. And as for me, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. If you want to see more from me, you aren't noobs at this. You know where to click to subscribe. But as always, chaps, thank you. This is me just being typical. I'm going to go make a cup of tea. Bye!